Spark International is a charity that finds and then enables local change makers. So these are really great individuals who are coming up with projects in their communities to improve the lives of people living in poverty. Our model is very, very simple and there's four pillars to it. There's the find phase, where we're looking for the right individuals to support. There's an accelerate phase, which is a one week live-in intensive entrepreneurship experience. There's a support phase, where the Spark International team provide up to two years of ongoing support for them. And then there's the fund, small rounds of funding to help them come up with projects and to grow those. Now this week, we're gonna take you inside the Spark Kenya Accelerator. So you're gonna witness 18 young change makers coming in with their early ideas, ideas that have improved the lives of less than 100 people. And you're gonna see them through all the challenges and through all the growth that they undertake. And at the end of the week, you'll see them pitching to investors and philanthropists. We want you to meet them firsthand. We want you to see what we see. And hopefully, we can have some incredible impacts that come from these change makers in the months and years ahead. So this is going to be our main room and it's a dark little space but our job is to make this as innovative and conducive to big ideas and brainstorming as possible. So this is where all the big stuff will be happening all throughout the week. Um, I've, I've already been talking to a few already to find out what the ideas are all about. Um, I mean I'm looking at the excitement, the energy, the, the excitement that is already in the room and I'm like wow, uh, this is going to be an, an interesting week. I expect to learn a lot about um, how to expand or network on my project and how I can grow my project and help my community on a larger scale. So all of the change makers that are selected for the program are passionate and they really feel strongly that their idea is a very powerful one to improve the lives of people living in poverty. There's a big challenge in entrepreneurship which is that people often come up with a solution without really delving in and, and looking for the problem and looking for the gap. So we keep delving into this, we keep asking them, what's the problem here? What are the root causes of this problem? Let's go deeper into this. And when I started it, it, it was really, like I said, very simple. I imagined just getting children to read, getting in them into a room, getting them to read, getting them to borrow books. But as, I, as we go on, then I'm realizing it's, it would be more, much more than reading. And then finally, on late afternoon of, of day two, we say to them, you know what, now is your chance to innovate 100 different solutions to the problem that you've just been talking about for the last day and a half. You have one, you've come with one idea, let's innovate another 99. This is a massive challenge for them. We group innovate this, there's huge amounts of brainstorming, we go through thousands of post-it notes today and they walk away with a massive pile of ideas that they can then take to their problem and say, what are we actually going to do here? How are we going to move forward? So it's a big day, it's a tough day, their brains hurt a lot, but their idea that comes out of it at the evening of the second day is so much more powerful. It's been great, especially when people give you different solutions to your problem. It opens your eyes to some solutions that you didn't even think of. It's different from what when I came here. Mm -hmm. I came with a different idea, but it is not, actually it is not completely changing, but it's it's coming out clearly. So by day three, their ideas are really starting to take shape once again. They've been galvanized, they've been stretched, uh, and they're really starting to be a lot more focused than they were when they came in on Sunday evening. So now we arm them with all the practical tools they're gonna need to go out and do incredible work with these new powerful ideas. We look at things like marketing, branding, pitching, how to have an awesome website, how to walk into a room and network with the right people. Really, really practical and tangible tips. How to make money, how to look after the money once you've made it. Our goal here is to make these change makers and these social entrepreneurs very, very reputable where they walk into the office of a donor or an investor and then people think, you know what, it's a great idea being led by an awesome young social entrepreneur. I'm going to back this. Uh, pitching has always knocked my... Uh, I'm always nervous about getting in front of people. But the activities that we did today and the tips that we got today, I feel, made me feel... made me to start being aware of, of the areas that I need to be conscious about when I'm pitching. Uh, being here makes me even feel more proud of myself and proud of my venture. Yeah.
So day one, we've shaken up their ideas. Day two, we've got, given them some really good tools of entrepreneurship. Day three, they're starting to bring their concepts together. And day four, they're really on their own. This is where all the ideas come together. And they walked in on Sunday with a nice idea. Their goal is to walk out tomorrow and to pitch their idea to a room full of people. An idea that's focused, an idea that's sustainable, and an idea that will go to scale. So today is very stressful. Uh, they're practicing a lot of ideas. They're shifting their ideas a lot. It's a lot of fun for us to see because this is real passion, uh, real energy for their concepts here. Tomorrow, they will be pitching to a room full of investors, philanthropists, non-profit leaders, government leaders. So oh, we well, can do that in about $300 a month at least. Amazing. I'd love you to hold up uh, an old Nokia and say, this is all we yeah. need. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, from when you first arrived, yeah. your confidence is amazing. You can't blow this opportunity. The, the best investors, the best philanthropists, all the people that care about you guys are going to be in that room. <coughs> and right now, no one is ready to go. No one. No one is going to do that opportunity justice yet. So you need to be super focused right now on nailing that 2 minute and 30 second pitch tomorrow. You need to tell a story, you need to connect with the audience, you need to be really, really clear about what you're trying to achieve. Because otherwise, you're going to be the person that they are checking their mobile phones during your pitch. And they won't be listening to you. Unless you get their attention, unless you engage them, unless you inspire them, that you are going to change your community. Spark has been amazing. When I came in, I didn't even know where I was headed. I knew what I wanted just to make a change, but I didn't know how to go about it. I didn't have a formula. I didn't have uh, any contacts or how Spark was life-changing. The five days we were in the training, intensive training, discussing, brainstorming, looking within to find answers, to discover our passion. Awesome, awesome, life changing. I don't know what we would have done without this project. It has, it has really helped us. We are looking forward to go to being change makers and we are going to be helping many, many more people. And thank you and God bless you very much. The uh, shirt sleeves are already rolled up. I'm getting ready to go and work today. Not tomorrow, in the afternoon. Yeah. There's, a, there's a saying in Swahili that says, Akuna kulala, that means no sleeping. And working with other social change makers makes you feel great. It shows that you're not crazy. And if you're crazy, then there's a whole bunch of you who are crazy.